Hey love bugs, it's your girl Disastrous Beauty coming back with the voiceover. So this unit was sent to me by Luhair.com. So shout out to you Luhair for sending me this unit. Right here I'm just showing you guys what all came in the packaging and I really thought their packaging was really, really nice. Shout out to you Luhair for the nice packaging. They also sent me that edge brush, which I thought was super, super cool. So right here I'm just showing you guys the cap construction. The unit does come with three combs in the front and one comb in the back with adjustable straps and it does have that little strap where you can adjust and make the wig fit like you, like you want want it to fit without having to apply any guys to be glued or anything like that and right here I'm just gonna straighten the hair and I just use my Fruities anti frizz serum on it and then I'm just gonna straighten it with my flat iron and um, some information about this hair is is in a natural color it's 18 inches long it's a straight unit it's a pre plucked hairline it's 180 percent density it is a 360 wig and the lace color that I have is uh, light brown and it did come with that bang that I will call a customizable bang because it's, the hairs are going to be really really long as you can see and I'm pretty sure the company did that just so you could customize the bang and make it your own you know make it frame your face but yeah the rest of it is basically history so um, if you are interested in any more information about this hair then definitely continue to watch and all the information for this hair will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience and yeah I will see you love us in the outro bye <music>
when you get used to filming during the day and then you go to filming at night, honey, it's just, ugh. So, if I look like a vampire or deceased, it's because of the lighting and it being nighttime and all that good stuff. So, that is my disclaimer. Now we can get into uh, the review of this week. Or not the review. We can get into where this week was sent from and all that. So, this unit was sent to me by Lou Hair. Shout out to you, Lou Hair, for sending me this week. If I'm not mistaken, this is my first time working with this company. I don't think I've ever worked with them before. So, shout out to you. Um... This wig actually has a name. I really like that. I thought that was neat. And the company has already sent me all of the information about this wig. So, this unit, um, it says Imani Straight Brazilian Virgin Human Hair 360 Lace Wig with Bang OF19. Wig name is an Imani. Uh, hair color is natural hair color. The hair length is 18 inches. The hair texture is straight. Hairline, pre-plucked hairline, density is 180%. The lace color is light brown. Cap construction, 360 lace wig with bang, and cap size is a medium. So, honey, they sent all the details. I really like that. Like, I, re I really, really like that. So, shout out to you, Lou Hair. So, as stated, this wig is a 360 wig. So, you can wear this wig up in a ponytail or half up, half down because it is a frontal, like, you can kind of see, I didn't add anything in there, but you can see right here that, you know, it has like that natural parting where you can actually part this hair if you don't want to wear it as a bang. You can actually do a different look with it, which I think, I like when my bang units come like that because um, I think it makes them look more natural because a bang unit can have the tendency to look very, very unrealistic okay they can go very very wiggy really really fast but anyways um yeah so i really like that about this wig and as i said it's a 360 so the wig is a lot more versatile than you may think by just looking at it so you can do a few things with this hair um as stated it is a straight wig and i'll get into more about how i uh feel about that in the review portion of the actual hair right now we're just going to be talking about just basically the cap construction now there are plenty of combs in this wig and i am actually only using two on the side and i don't yeah and i did use the one that's also in the back and it does have that that glueless thing y'all know i don't never know what it's called i guess it's like some sort of a band a wig band it has that um you should have seen it at the very beginning of the video when I was doing the voiceover. I'm probably going to mention it in the voiceover, but it does have that where you can adjust that as well. So this wig does provide a lot of security, so much security that I did not have to use um, my Gots to Be Glued Free Spray. That is also something I will get into the review portion of this wig. Now, as far as length goes, it is 18 inches. I am 5'4", so I want to go ahead and show you guys that I'm 5'4". And this is where the unit comes to me. So 18 inches is really good, especially when it's a straight wig. Because to me, 18 inches straight remind me of my, y'all know I prefer 20 inches. Like 20 is my go-to. So with this, I feel like it's almost like a 20 inch wig and it's because it is straight. So I do like that about this unit. Um, as far as shedding, tangling, all of that none like oh, y'all this hair we'll get into that also in the review portion but as far as construction all of that that is basically all i have to say about it if you are interested in my full 360 and how i what i actually think about this wig and what i use and all that um that will be saved for the review portion of this video so we're going to get into the review portion of it right now if you are interested then please continue to watch as far as um cap construction as far as the big head friendliness of this wig, I am a medium cap size. They do give you that option. I want Let me go on the site right quick and actually look. Okay, so they do give you the option of small, medium, and large. The medium is no extra cost whatsoever, but if you do need a small, it's going to take an extra 10 days, um, and it's going to be $15 extra. And if you need a large, it's 10 days and um twenty dollars extra now that being said i am wearing a medium and this medium fits me pretty good but i did have to adjust the straps so i feel like it is big head friendly even though it's a medium i feel like if you have a bigger head that you can still wear this wig unless your your head is like really really large then maybe not but if your head is just like um 
regular large like it's not extra large just regular large i feel like you can get away with the medium now as far as my small head girls i would recommend you guys just getting the the small wig only because with the bang wig you want it to fit decently like you don't really want your head to be swimming in it when it comes to bang wigs in my opinion i would honestly prefer it to be too small than too big like that's just how i feel about bang wigs like yeah, that's my personal opinion. And we mentioned shedding and tangling. And I feel like I'm not leaving anything out. If I am, hopefully I remember to mention it in the voiceover, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a full 360 and we can wrap this thing all the way up. Honestly, I am pretty pleasantly surprised at this wig. I had actually put this wig on before straightening it, before, you know, actually cutting the bangs and um, customizing it to my liking. I had put it on on my husband's birthday, which was Sunday. Today is October the 2nd. My husband's birthday was the 29th. And I had put it on, and I was like, I don't think I can do this right now. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. He actually called it uh, Beyonce wig. But it was because the bangs weren't customized, and, you know, the hair wasn't straightened, and I didn't see the vision, okay? Straight out of the packaging, you're going to have to, you're not probably not going to like it straight out of the packaging. But to me, that is the case with most wigs, especially most human hair wigs. Like, you're always going to have to do some work to human hair wigs to get it to your liking, okay? Well, to get it to my liking, okay? I always have to do something to my human hair wigs. It is very, very rare. I don't think I've ever gotten a human hair wig that I didn't have to do anything to at all. Like, period. Maybe I'm one or two. Maybe one or two. But, yeah. So, I, I, what, I didn't care, but I didn't quite know if I was going to be able to actually get it where I wanted to. So, I ended up um, applying my Fruity Sleek and Shine to the hair. I put it on my wig head, applied the free, Fruity Sleek and Shine to the hair, and I flat ironed it. And then after I flat ironed it, I put it on. And because it is one of those banged wigs, Y'all, I'm just completely talking with my hands today. I don't know what it is. But because it is a banged wig, I didn't have to do any gots to be glue and all of that, which I love because it's a, to me, that makes this wig a good throw on and go wig, okay? After all of the customization is done, I feel like from that point on, the wig would pretty much be a throw on and go wig, which I really, really, really like. Now, as far as the bang, the bang is, um, it comes very long. It comes very, very long. And I think that bang comes really long for a reason. Kind of like these companies that send you wigs with long baby hairs. They do that just like with this bang. I think that the company did the bang so long be is because they want you to be able to customize it. Different people like their bangs to be worn different ways. Like, you see how I got all of this and I keep messing with it. <laughs> I keep messing with it. I got all of this in my eyes. This will drive a lot of y'all crazy. It's actually driving me crazy right now. But that is how I like to wear it. That's why I keep calling it. I like to wear it like this even though it is kind of driving me crazy. But, um... The, the hairs are so long that you can make it super short if you want to, or you can wear it really long. Like, I got them if you want to. Like, I think that's why they did that. Plus, it was so long that if you wanted to just wear it in the middle and have the hairs off to the side, you could have did that as well. So, I like, initially when I put the hair on, I was like, oh my God, the bangs are too long. But, after thinking about it and, and customizing it to my liking, I was like, oh, okay. This makes sense. I see what you did there, honey. I see what you did there. So, I like that about this wig as well. So, honestly, all in all, I have no cons with this wig. I like the fact that they have so many combs as well in this wig that you feel secure. Like, I feel very, very secure. And a lot of times with bang wigs, I don't. I don't feel secure. They usually don't provide a lot of combs. They don't provide any straps for real. They provide nothing. So, I like that they provided all of those combs. So, shout out to you, Lou Hair. I do want to also mention that this wig does have some flyaways. It's not a huge issue for me, but I do know some people that is a big issue. Flyaways is just like a deal breaker. Like if they see flyaways, they're like, uh-uh, mm -mm, I don't want it. I want to throw that out there. It's not a big issue for me. I still think the wig is gorgeous. I don't mind flyaways though. I'm not really that nitpicky, but I know that can be an issue for some people. So I want to throw it out there. Now we will get into this full 360. Oh, this is the wig in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. I'm kind of feeling like Selena's. 
vibes. You know, like I'm, I'm feeling Selena vibes. My husband um was saying I look like Prince, okay, because I got on my Prince shirt. This is my this is my Prince shirt. <laughs> so we was uh singing Prince, but I, this the, is giving me more Selena vibes than anything. The actual hair. It's definitely giving me full-fledged Selena vibes, okay? <laughs> but anyways, I am feeling the wig. I honestly really don't have any complaints about the wig whatsoever. Um, Yeah, even like I, I was going to complain about the bang, but like I said, now that I realize why they have the bang the way that they the way that it is, in my opinion, that's why I think, like, they didn't tell me that, child, I'm making my own conclusions. I think it's just because so you can customize it. So I can't say that I even dislike that, like, no complaints about this wig. Shout out to you, Lou Hair. Um, thank you once again for working with me and sending me this unit. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Oh, no. I didn't even tell you guys. All of the information about this wig will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. So if you are interested in this wig, all of the information, along with the information that I said um, just a little while ago about the hair, all of that will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. So, yeah. And I always get questions about my lashes, child. Okay, these lashes, like, I get questions about them all the time. Direct link for these lashes and um, any products that I use will also be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And, yeah, that's finally it. So, okay. if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, if you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, since what are you doing with your life? What's good? Click the subscribe button. And if you're not already following me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and Facebook. I'm held to miss C on Snapchat, and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love bugs, next time. Bye.